Well, there is a new twist tonight on the homeless crisis here in Los Angeles. A woman has filed a lawsuit over the safety of people like her trying to walk around these encampments. Her lawsuit comes just days after the city cleared the way to remove tent communities that are considered dangerous. NBC4's Robert Kavasik is live for us tonight in Hollywood with more on her complaint. Robert. Chuck, this is a woman from Valley Village who is taking on the city of L.A., the county of L.A., and the state of California. She was struck by a car, seriously injured, and she claims not enough is being done to protect her. Not enough is being done to protect the people who live on our streets. This is Gower under the 101 tonight. A woman came here with a purpose, to feed the homeless. She left in an ambulance. It happened so fast. Deborah Todd recalling last October, an encampment so big there was no room on the sidewalk. When a woman asked for food, Deborah says she had to cross the street to deliver. A man who lived under the overpass even offered to escort her. And I looked both ways before crossing, and um, there was nothing coming. And then she was there. She was the driver who struck them. Deborah doesn't blame the driver. Her lawsuit states the sprawling encampment obstructed her view and vice versa. This lawsuit is not um, against the homeless population in, by any means. It was a very dangerous area you know, for people to be living given the fact that it's right off of the, uh, the freeway. Deborah came to help the homeless and before paramedics arrived, she says they helped her. There was a woman who was part of the, the um, homeless. She had my head in her lap, and the water I had given her was ice cold, and she was pouring it on me to get me to come to. By the way, the man who offered to cross the street with Deborah was not seriously injured. The city attorney says they'll review the complaint, but have no further comment. And now that anti-camping ordinance that could target Gower and the 101 is set to take effect next month. Live tonight here in Hollywood, I'm Robert Kavasik, NBC4 News.